Hello, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Orla, and for those of you who are not new here, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing my kind of ever so slightly elevated version of my everyday go to makeup routine and makeup look for those days that I am actually honestly for every day and every occasion. Maybe if it's a slightly fancier occasion, I'm putting on a bit of foundation. I'm not wearing a foundation, I'm using like a perfector in this. I'm maybe putting on a foundation, I'm maybe putting on a lipstick instead of a lip balm, maybe a bit of eyeshadow, a bit of eyeliner. But really for nine out of 10 occasions, whether it's running to the shops, okay, I'm not wearing makeup to run to the shops. If it's going out with my friend for a coffee versus going out to work or going to a work dinner, this is the look that I'm doing. So if you're interested in achieving that kind of natural, healthy, glowy look, using all pretty relatively price friendly products on like a in general price friendly routine with some local Northern Ireland makeup. Thank you for watching. Okay, so points for the worst background ever. And oh, my battery of oh, my camera just ran out. I'm literally sandwiched against a wall because when I tried to record the other way around, you couldn't see me properly because of the window behind me. So I'm literally sandwiched behind, beside a wall, which means I'm gonna have to climb under this table to go get the charger. Oh. So I've just gone in with a moisturizer. It's actually just the Premark Prep and Protect Vitamin Enriched Moisturizing Primer. I think this is in theory kind of like a Bobbi Brown mineral, you know that mineral base thing? It's like a Bobbi Brown dupe. Um, I like this, I don't love it. It's in my little like travel um, travel toiletries bag, which is what I have on me at the minute. So while that settles in, I'm just going to go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I bought the mini of this in New York and I like it enough. I don't love it. As in, I don't love it, but I don't dislike it. I just, it's not a product that I'm like, I need to repurchase this, if you know what I mean. I'm still kind of getting to grips with it. Grip Primer. And then also while it settles, I'm just going to go with my e.l.f. Brow Lift and kind of fluff my eyebrows up a little bit. So for like face and complexion, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind Perfector in one glow makeup. I have this in the shade light. I think I might get the shade two for when I have tan on my face or my body. This is my first time wearing tan in a long time but it's almost August so I'm going to be I don't think I've I don't have any other holidays planned at the minute and I'm not sure that we will have any other holidays so I'm gonna certainly be getting into the time where I might need um like fake tan in the autumn. Um, then the Dior Tinted Doll Ultra Wear All Over Concealer, which I have in the shade uh, 010, but I think they have different UK and US shades, so I'm always confused to what shade this is. And then the Pearl Beauty Cream Bronzer in Fair. So I usually use light. This is supposed to be more of like a neutral undertone, so I'm kind of excited to try it. So on the, I'm trying to think this doesn't flip, right? So this is my, oh no, it does flip because this looks backwards on the camera right no it doesn't that's an L and this is not an L so my left hand and I think on the left side of the screen I think <laughs> is the light which is the warm undertone and on the right hand side is the fair undertone which is the cool undertone so I haven't actually really done a comparison of these myself but the light in here is really bad yeah I think you can see that that is warmer yeah and I'm just going to use the oh hang on let me just check if the new lid goes on the new product I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill JH03 I got like a set of Jaclyn Morphe Jaclyn Hill brushes I like them and then the pearl, the one brush. I actually have two of these and one of them, the little like wrapping was blistering. So I just peeled it off. I actually think the silver looks pretty cool. And like the wrapping doesn't obviously actually prove anything. But yeah, this four in one perfector, it's a product that I keep coming back to. And like I have the elf dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury. I have the actual Charlotte Tilbury. And I think at least two shades. I have the Revolution dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury. That's kind of the makeup that I like these days. Like I don't really gravitate towards foundation necessarily. But this specific Maybelline one just is honestly really nice. And I really like it. Butterfly. Oh yes, of course. Hmm? 
So now that I've done my concealer, I'm just going to set my powder, sorry, set my concealer with my everyday powder, which is the Pearl Beauty um, in Translucent. I have to say, Pearl Beauty has like, is most of my makeup collection. Partly because I like the founder, but also partly because they're good products. They do what I want them to do. And I'm trying to gradually reduce, although I did just buy a second bronzer when I already had one. I'm trying to like gradually reduce it. I don't need like a thousand of the same product. Like I do like playing with makeup and it's nice sometimes to get different things, but for like a day-to-day -day basis, I don't need like nine foundations, which I used to have. So I bought Pearl Beauty. I like it. It works. It's local. I like the founder done and dusted pretty simple running out of um space on my camera so to try and speed things along a little bit more pearl beauty i'm gonna mix girl next door and classic beauty so this is the original which is why it doesn't have the color it's the core four this is the four more um i'm just gonna mix these on my hand blend it in the bronzer is nice it's certainly very subtle i kind of forgot that while also it's a different undertone it also is a shade lighter I kind of forgot that i was also sacrificing depth but it's fine then i recently got <laughs> another pearl beauty product which is actually another one of their their powders but i got it in dark which actually now means i have it in three out of the available four shades which is kind of funny um and i'm gonna go in with this real techniques 400 blush brush i did get this morphe brush and it's a bronzer brush but i'm just not sure about it um and then the charlotte tilbury cheek to cheek um with this morphe jhd4 brush and I'm going to try and do all of those things very quickly before my space runs out. I'm liking the overall effect that's given. It has gone very bronzy. I'm playing around with like not setting all of my face, but I have also been playing around with putting on my Pearl Beauty Sticks beef, you know, after my powder. And I do feel like my powder and my bronzer. And I also say I don't usually use this powder brush, or sorry, this bronzer brush. I usually use this one. I feel like things clung a little. So it did require some blending. But I feel like the overall look is that I'm actually looking very like healthy and bronzed. Kind of a vibe. So for lips, I've really gotten to the point now where like I'm wearing the same stuff almost all of the time and it works for me. Like I have an everyday makeup bag for the first time ever. So I'm gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury. I never know if this is called Bitch Perfect or Super Size Me or Lip Cheek. Sorry, Bitch Perfect must be the name of the lipstick. So I don't know if this is Lip Cheek. Reshape and resize lip liner for Super Size Me. that on my lip liner but also a little bit on my actual lips then the benefit benny tint mostly on my lips kind of give that a few seconds make sure to lick your teeth actually i'm gonna let that kind of dry completely before i go in with my glossier rose balm.com sorry it's balm.balm balm.com and it's i have the rose version it didn't come out the way it was supposed to eyebrows i've just kind of continued to fluff as I go for eyes, we're keeping it pretty much non-existent. I don't know if I showed you the chic to chic, but just taking this Lux crease, Lux crease brush by Zoeva, taking the outer corner or the outer color rather, like so roughly paying basically no attention to what I'm doing over the whole lid. And then the darker mauve quite lightly in the crease. And that's it. Just an alternative to going in with the bronzer, kind of keeping things a little lighter. Otherwise I would just go in with 
my bronzer in exactly the same places. Then I'm going with this highlighter brush, also the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill. And then number seven, um, eyeshadow in Story Lights. And just working it on that inner corner. This is like a face highlighter brush. I don't really go for face highlighter too much. Sometimes I like a really like concentrated inner corner highlight. But I'm enjoying using this like much bigger brush. To kind of like diffuse it and just blend and open up my eyes in general. And also if I need it, which I usually don't. But I'll just do it for the sakes of it. I'll go in with this NYX micro brow pencil. Literally in the first, I don't know, let's say fifth, sixth. And then again just fluff up and out. And then mascara I can never really decide because basically at this point I've got a very natural makeup look so do I want to have big lashes which kind of I think make it look less less natural or do I keep it? So I usually go between a brown mascara which is the Lash Paradise or actually this Maybelline Great Lash. I feel like I remember this being in my sister's makeup collection in like what age am I? I'm talking 2010 maybe. I use this for my lash extensions or like more recent and I just want like a little perk. But actually, it still does a pretty nice job taking the brown mascara and just literally feels like it kind of keeps them soft, gives them a bit of like tint and gives them a bit of thickness, but keeps them kind of soft and fluffy. Finish the whole thing off with my balm.com. And there's the finished makeup look. So on a day-to-day -day basis, this would take me like 10 minutes. So I'm not necessarily doing the two mascaras. If I'm doing any mascara, I'm not doing like the micro brow pencil. I'm probably not doing the Benny tint. I'm probably literally just doing the lip balm. And like in general, everything's a bit more haphazard and I'm not putting anything on my eyes. Not that there's anything like, even the way I put the concealer on properly on my eyelids, I usually don't do that. Although I do think it helps because natural makeup, lovely. But then when you're, as the day goes on and your skin starts to come through, that's kind of annoying because you want it to just be like a, this is how I look. Set it all with your e.l.f. Stay all night micro fine setting mist. And that is my like everyday, usually kind of 10 to 15 minutes, just natural, healthy, everyday go-to makeup. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.